it's, it's very nice. Yes. It's a mother-daughter relationship for this Ukrainian refugee and British host. Natalia Parkomenko has lived with Amanda Rodriguez Medina since fleeing Russia's invasion with her two sons in May. She is one of more than 100,000 Ukrainians who came to the UK under the government's Homes for Ukraine scheme. Now I am live here and I'm happy to be here. Um, I'm lucky to find a nice, really nice um, woman. She helped me. She like my mom. We live together. We are happy to be together and uh, to see what happened in future. I don't know. I want to believe uh, that uh, the war is finished and I'm um, come back to Ukraine. Mm -hmm. Can I try your cheesecake, please, that you made? It looks lovely. Wow. Ooh, very nice. Thank you. Thank you. British sponsors were asked to commit to at least six months of hosting, a period that has ended for many as the war rages on. Natalia is one of the lucky ones. Her host, Amanda, has extended her stay in her South East England home. I liked her immediately and, yeah, we've just become closer and closer. We're sort of like half friends, half mother-daughter. Others are facing a less certain future. Elada Vishnikova vlogs about her life in a small English town for her mother, who is still in Kiev. In the new year, she will leave her host family and move to London to join an architectural firm. The UK allows Ukrainians to work and study for up to three years with access to state benefits. But renting privately is a challenge. It's expensive and there's not enough housing available. Да, конечно, я смотрела, отправляла, отправляла свои заявки на просмотр. К сожалению, очень маленький процент. I've sent in applications to look at rooms. Unfortunately, very few people reply. Такие, скажем так, коммунальные квартиры принадлежат молодежи, поэтому они себе ищут. Usually, such shared flats belong to young people, and they're looking for people of similar age, usually under 30. Возрасту, то есть, как правило, до 30 лет. Moscow's war sparked mass outpourings of support for Ukraine in the UK. Ten months on, around 150,000 people have come to Britain through two government schemes, one for those with families settled in the UK and the hosting program. There aren't very many sponsors left uh, one way or the other. It's not even to say that there was some downward slope in interest. There was a lot of interest at the beginning and a lot of those people took people in. Uh, since then, there haven't been that many people coming forward, unfortunately. Data shows that nearly 3,000 Ukrainian households in England are in need of help to prevent homelessness. For Elada, the luckiest group of refugees are those able to remain longer with their hosts, while larger family groups are better placed to get on their feet. The third group is primarily alone, like me. The third group is mainly single women like me, who either don't work or work but earn a minimum wage that doesn't allow them to fully cover rent. And in this case, they either obtain homeless status and trust in the state, or they try to find a new sponsor, which is now almost impossible or they decide to leave England forever and return to Ukraine. Surveys show that few Ukrainians want to return home in the short term. And with Russia showing no signs of ending the war and the UK facing a cost-of-living crisis, it's a challenging path ahead for many.